today we're gonna be talking about the Integra. The Integra has been down for about two months now. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. It's been a bit rough for this car and uh, something pretty bad happened to the car. And that's why it hasn't been in the videos lately. I know I've gotten a couple requests like, are you guys gonna make Integra content again? Well, this is gonna be the start of something new. So. Uh, I'm gonna pass it over to Andrew because uh, this whole incident happened when he was driving the car. Uh, I personally wasn't there, so I'll let him speak on his behalf. What's up guys, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Andrew and this is my Integra DC2. So I haven't been driving this car for the last two months because, well, I got rear-ended on my way to work. And it's been a long, tough battle with both insurance and the lawyers and you know, I don't want to see this car go because I know this car means a lot to me, means a lot to Jacob, and obviously it means a lot to you guys. We put a lot of time and effort into building this thing and I was just about to restore it to be honest and I don't even know. I don't even know if insurance wants to total this thing out anymore. So without further ado, let me pull the car out so I can show you guys what happened to the car. Before we talk more about the Integra, I just want to announce on October 29th at 3.30 p.m. PST, we're going to be releasing our fall collection. This features our Driven to Madness hoodie, as well as two t-shirts, one Integra rug, as well as air fresheners. So if you would like to support the channel, head to our website, mark your calendars October 29th at 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're going to be dropping our fall collection. So you guys don't want to miss it. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our website at seekersclub.com. So in hindsight, the car looks pretty, you know, normal. It just looks like it's been sitting for a long time. Yeah, from, from this angle. From this angle, yeah. Look at all this dirt, right? Hasn't been washed in a while. Yep. No motivation so. for it. I mean, well, it's just been a long battle with insurance, you know? And, you know, I'll tell you guys a story and the reason why it's been such a long battle in a little bit, but right here is the damage on the car. Yep, this guy got rear-ended. The rear bumper has gotten completely obliterated. I'm surprised the exhaust didn't really get too messed up, but this is just all surface level. Well, I don't even know if this thing has an exhaust leak because when I was driving at home, it sounded louder than it. Yeah, but I know you guys think it doesn't look that bad, but I can guarantee you this thing had frame damage because I got rear-ended like going like 30 miles per hour. I'm actually really surprised that this is all the damage there is, but let me show you guys what I mean by the frame damage, okay? So before, when I was, when I would pop the trunk, you know, all cars pretty much do it. You'll hear the noise, like even on our UK. There's no pop. There's no pop. But the, the, the hatch is open now. The hatch is open. You see that? Hatch is there, open. I'll, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna close it. All right, it's closed. That, used uh, that, to that, that right there is not a good sign already, I'll tell you that. That used to never happen. Yep. And the hatch is straight. The hatch is actually straight. Right here? No pop. No pop. Let me show you another thing is, the reason why I know this frame damage for surely is, if you look right here, on the side. Oh, this gap actually was not there. So that, that wasn't there. I mean, in hindsight, this isn't like car got crunched inwards, but it's still, you know, this car was on its way to getting the full treatment. And now we got set back. So like I said before, I was not here when this happened. This happened early in the AMs when Andrew was on the way to work. So Andrew, you wanna tell us a little bit of what happened when you got rear-ended? Yeah, so I mean, it's no secret that this Integra is actually my daily, or was my daily. Now I'm dailying the Black EK Civic over there. It was just a normal day, I'm going to work. You know, I usually leave around the house at 7.30 in the morning. There's nobody on the road, driving on my way to work, and I stop at a red light. And the red light's about to turn green. As the light's about to turn green, some guy comes freaking rear-ending me at like 30 miles per hour. I wasn't even paying attention to my mirrors or anything like that, so I was totally not anticipating it. And when I got rear-ended, sitting in that Ricard bucket seat with no airbag, no nothing, I got major whiplash. Like, my whole body went flying forward. When, it, when I flung back from the momentum, I was just like looking at the ceiling, and I just remember hearing the crunching noise and the, the violence of the accident. 
and I'm staring at the ceiling. I'm like, what the hell just happened right now? Yeah, I was, I was just like in a state of shock. I didn't even know what to do. And I just got out of the car and I just like, I just knew that this is gonna be a headache because no cap, the guy had no insurance. Yeah, so after getting rear-ended, we pulled over and I was just looking at my car. I'm like, man, this is not the way I imagined my car to go out. Like, you know, it's different if I sold it or if I lost my love for it or whatever, but you know, this was still kind of a work in progress. You know, it was just, we were just getting to the point where we we're gonna perfect it, make it perfect. Andrew and I have been sitting for like the past couple months debating whether or not to part this thing out, get a new chassis, start all over again, but that alone is just very, very time consuming. Or we just ditch the whole car. So yeah, the bumper got destroyed. Uh, there is frame damage. We're gonna be taking all this off in the next video because it's pretty late outside. The sun is about to set, but yeah, we're gonna have to take all this stuff off and see if this car is even salvageable to, uh, to make it worth it for us, to be honest, because we don't wanna dump too much money into it and we don't even know if the car is gonna stay clean title or is it gonna be salvaged. Like Andrew said, insurance isn't really gonna cover everything because, well, we have aftermarket parts on the car. And you guys won't believe it. They wanna give me an OEM bumper. <laughs> and on the estimate, it's at $300. I was like, $300? That's not even the shipping to get this thing from over from Japan. Yeah, so. You guys are tripping. The bumper alone costs a lot of money. And I remember Andrew told told the guy that rear-ended him, he was like, oh no, I'll just cash you out right now, right now. Cause he just thought like, oh, it's just an Integra, right? He was like, oh, how much the rear bumper? And then Andrew's like, over a thousand dollars. And the guy's jaw dropped. Oh, this fucking guy, bro. Sorry, man. You have insurance, man. Okay. Yeah, ready. It's a lot of money for these uh, Japanese authentic parts, dude. So it's like, it just kind of sucks the predicament that we're in right now. Cause we don't know if we want to like, we don't know where to go. We're kind of just like in a pickle right now. So that's pretty much it. We just wanted to go over the car with you. So much for uh, buying a whole new car, having a whole new engine and transmission sitting and waiting. Yeah, I don't even know what to do. I mean. For the last two months, I actually contemplating getting a whole RS shell because I want to do the sunroof delete, but the one I was looking at fell through, so I don't know. I've been kind of low-key losing motivation on this car. I don't know. It just sounds like a major money pit, and insurance is not covering the bumper and some of the repairs, and it just seems like in order to fix the damages that the guy caused, I don't know if it was worth our time, especially since Jacob and I just picked up that EK Civic. Let us know. What should we do with this EK Civic? Should we give it a try and fix it ourselves or? You just said EK Civic. I mean. Integra? Yes. <laughs> Integra, I meant. See, too many Hondas. Yeah, I just don't know what to do, man. Shit, I was not expecting to lose this car. Well, let us know down in the comments below how Andrew should go about with this Integra. Other than that, we still got a lot of stuff planned for the EK. We have a lot for that car. All the parts are pretty much here. We do have a couple things that we need to order and we're gonna get that overnight shipping from Japan. So, if you guys wanna see more of that, the like button don't forget to subscribe let us know down in the comments below what you want to see later on in the near future and uh, i think that's it we're gonna be donating these teas to that car nah, teas are overrated <laughs>